Nearly everyone in the world uses Google search, but did you know that you can make money with it? My students and I currently use Google search in these five ways to make life changing money. For each one, I'm going to show you screenshots of real money made from my students using these techniques. And then I'm going to show you how to replicate the exact same results. Let's start into the first one. Here's a screenshot of some money that my daughter made using this when she was only a teenager. And you can do one of these every single day if you follow my technique. I'm going to start with a simple Google search that you see right here, list of Ann Arbor businesses. You can insert any town near you or your own town. And then basically you wanna to go to any list of businesses that comes up there. Maybe your town has a business directory dedicated to that town. It doesn't really matter as long as you can get a good list of businesses from that town. I'm gonna to click right here on business directory search. I'm gonna do a search for hardware stores. You see, we've got 29 results here. And then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for each one of these business names that you see in Google. I'm gonna do the first one here, Carpenter Bros Hardware and Rental. And then over here on the right, you wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see this little thing, Profiles. And what you wanna look for here are businesses in your area that don't have anything under this profile. So this one has Facebook as a profile. You're gonna see why in just a second. But then we're gonna move on to the next one because this one already has a profile. Here's a search for Jack's Hardware. We're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom there. See, now this one, I don't see any profile there. So I'm gonna copy this name and I'm gonna put that on a list. Then we're gonna go to the next one. See, I did a search there for Stadium Hardware. This thing comes up on the right. We're gonna scroll all the way down and we're gonna look for that little profiles area and I don't see that there either. So we're also going to put that one on the list. And you're gonna do this over and over. I repeat, if when you scroll down to the bottom, there are profiles listed here. You want to skip that one. And after you make a big list of all the ones that don't have profiles, what you're gonna do is you're gonna send each of them a very specific email that I'm showing right here. Is competitor, and you're gonna insert one of the competitors there. If we were emailing Jack's hardware store, then we wanna put one of Jack's hardware store competitors in the email right here. So let's say it's Ace Hardware. So we would say, is Ace Hardware stealing your customers? And that's the subject line. And then in the body of the email, you're gonna say, yes, they are, but it's legal and ethical. I noticed they have a Facebook page and you don't. They're grabbing customers from Facebook that should be yours. If you'd like to take back what's yours, hit reply. I'll show you what they're doing and how to beat them your name. And then what you're actually offering them is to set up a Facebook profile for them for a fee. And like you saw earlier, my daughter charged $300 just to set this thing up. For her, it was very simple to set up. And for you, it's very simple. All you do is do a quick Google search on how to set up a Facebook page for a business. It only takes a few minutes and it's very simple to do. But the customers, if they don't have one of these, probably don't know how to set it up. There's another email that you can use that's a little more bold is competitor cheating. And then in the body, yes, they are, but it's ethical and legal. And then we're going to have similar here. I noticed they have a Facebook page and you don't. You're stealing your best customers because of it. I can change that. Hit reply and I will show you how. And you're offering the same thing. Now you can do this same thing, setting up an Instagram page, a Twitter page, anything where you see that that business does not have a social media profile page set up, you can offer to set that up for them. And I'll tell you a trick. If you go to this website called D7 Lead Finder, it can do all the searching for you very, very quickly. So you don't have to go through one by one by one and searching in Google. I did a search for towing service in Baltimore, Maryland. You can see there on the left. And here, if I click on this little F icon, it's gonna sort by if this business has a Facebook page or not. I can also sort by if it has an Instagram page or not with this little one. I can sort this little Twitter icon to see if they have a Twitter page or not. And it finds for me businesses very very quickly that do not have these social media pages set up. If you scroll down, you can see all these towing services here that I could contact that do not have a Facebook page. And it even gives me their email address right here in this column. Now D7 Lead Finder is a paid service, so you can do it for free if you wanna do it manually, but I just wanna show you that shortcut if you wanna do this very, very quickly. And you can even see their businesses like this one that I'm showing right here that charge to then post regular updates to those social media pages and they'll charge between 147 a month all the way up to $500 
per month to not only set up the social media page for the business, but also to post regularly on that social media page to keep it active. Okay, let's go to the next one. For this one, you can make around $500 each time you follow this process. And here's some screenshots of students that are doing this exact thing and making $500 each time they do it. And it only takes a few minutes. I'm just gonna go to my local library website here. We're gonna go on to browse and we're gonna click on online resources here. And then you click on business. And what you wanna look for is some sort of a business database type service that they allow you access to. This one has demographics now. A lot of them will have Info USA or another service, but they all work pretty much the same. And then you just click on it. And normally you only have access through your library. You can pay for these, but they do cost money. So that's why I'm recommending to go through the library. Now, once you get into that, you're gonna select business list right here. And then over here on the left, we're going to choose businesses that have a website in the database. And we are gonna uncheck a couple of these. And then we want in the year established, box we want to make sure that we're only talking about businesses that have been started in the last year so I'm gonna put 2024 in there I'm gonna click search now what it's gonna bring us up is a list of all the businesses that have been registered in the last year these are brand new businesses this year and then what we're gonna do is just we're gonna start searching for their business names in Google. So I'm gonna search for the first one in Google. What this shows us on the right here, if it has a bunch of information on the right hand side, when you do a Google search, that means this business has already been registered in Google. So they got started up sometime in the last year and very soon, very quickly, someone told them, make sure you register your business on Google so you can get customers from Google. But if we search down the list, we're gonna find some of these businesses aren't registered on Google. Let's go to the next one here. I'm gonna search for them in Google. And you can see over here on the right, it's totally blank, which means this business has not been registered on Google. They do have a website here in Google, but because it's missing a lot of other information, you can see on the right-hand side is totally blank. It's gonna be a lot harder for them to get customers from Google. And then all you have to do is click on their website, because remember, at the beginning, we specifically wanted to make sure that we were searching for businesses that had a website. And the reason why is we wanna be able to contact them. So now we have a list of businesses that have not been registered on Google yet, but they do have a website. So the website should just show up right here when you search for their name. You're just gonna click on it. You're gonna click on contact here and we are going to send them a message. And what you're gonna send them a message is, I noticed that your business is not registered on Google yet. And you can even send them a screenshot if you want. Your competitors, are registered on Google. Did you know that if you're not registered on Google, it makes it a lot more difficult to get customers from Google? I specialize in fixing this. Shoot me an email back if you would like me to fix that for you. Simple message. You can go out and you can send these messages out. Just like my students that you saw earlier, they're doing this exact same thing, seeking out businesses that aren't registered in Google and offering to register for them for around $500. If they say yes, here's how you actually go about registering them on Google. It's very simple. You just go to google.com forward slash business, you click sign in there, and then you literally just copy and paste the information back and forth from the business's website into the Google form. And then Google's going to ask you to verify it. They'll either send an email code or a text code to your customer's phone number. It's very, very simple to do. It only takes a few minutes, but it's a very lucrative little job. Again, you could do one of these every single day and be making $500 per day. Let's go on to the third way to make money with Google search. And this one probably makes the most most money of any of the ones that I'm gonna teach you in this video. And here's some screenshots of money that my students are making from this. And these are monthly fees. The first step on this one is you need to pick a niche that is a phone driven business. A business where customers don't really come into their place of business, but instead the customers call them on the phone and the business owner comes to the customer. So think about a service business like a plumber or an electrician. These are the types of businesses where they probably never have a customer visit their actual location because they're always going to the customer. I'm gonna come up with a business name for an electrician and you might say, I'm not an electrician. How can I make money with this? Don't worry, I'm making money with this week after week in business areas where I have no skill at all. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the exact same process that I showed in the last technique where you go and register the business on Google. But in this case, instead of registering someone else's business, you're gonna register a brand new business for the phone driven business that you pick. So let's say for example, I pick electrician service. You're gonna enter a business name into the registration with Google. Let's say Bob's electrician service. You're gonna go through the whole process that I just showed you in the last technique and you're gonna verify that business 
on Google. And what's gonna happen then is when someone searches for electrician, I'm gonna actually show up as one of these red pins on Google Maps that someone is gonna click on and they're going to call the number for electrician service. Now you might say again, I'm not an electrician. What am I gonna do with that phone call? What you do then is you take that person that's calling you and you refer them out to an actual electrician to complete the job. The name of this business is called lead generation. So you're not actually completing the electrician service. All you're doing is generating phone calls for electricians and you're taking a percentage of the sale or even just a flat fee for every time you refer them a customer. It's a great business model. I've been doing it for many, many years. It's very simple to set up like you just saw. And once you get it all set up, it generates those phone calls day after day after day without you having to do any ongoing work. I have two more techniques to show you about how to make money with Google search. And I don't have time to get in a lot of depth on each one. So for this specific one, since it's a little more complex, I have a free class in the link in the description of this video. If you click on that link in the description of this video, you can get my free class that goes into all the details of this specific one with Google Maps and lead generation. Because you're probably asking me, where do I get a phone number? And how do I make sure that they pay me? And all these types of things. If you want more information on that, just get my free class that goes into a lot more detail but we teach you how to automate the whole process so the phone calls get transferred over to the local business automatically everything gets tracked and my daughter has a business set up just like this and even the invoicing and the payments are on autopilot so she literally does nothing to collect those fees for sending leads and phone calls to business owners. The whole thing can be set up so you hardly have to do any ongoing work. So go ahead and click on that link in the description of this video to get all the details on how to set this one up. Okay, now let's dive into the fourth way to make money with Google search. For this one, you can make around $600 each time you do it. And this one is so easy. You can see from the screenshot right here that they say it feels like we just stole money. In order to complete this one, the first thing you have to do is install an app on your phone from a company called Foxpoy, and I'm showing it right here on my screen. Make sure that you install this exact app because we've tested a lot of different apps. A lot of other ones, frankly, do not work. Now, Foxpoy is an Android app. If you have an iPhone, you can install Simple 360 VR Media Player that I'm showing right here. It works exactly the same as the Foxpoy one but it is for iPhones. And again, we've tested a lot of apps, so don't try anything but these. These are the ones that work. I don't get paid anything to recommend these apps. It just happened to be that of all the apps we tested, those were the ones that worked. Now, for this, you wanna do a search specifically in Google, but you're specifically wanting to search in Google Maps for it. And I like to search for restaurants or cafes or places where they really want people to see the inside of their establishment to attract people, to attract customers. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down until you find a restaurant that when you click on their photos, they don't have any 360 video tour. And you can see this one, it's a restaurant. It's got a lot of really nice photos. They don't have a 360 video of the inside of the place. Now, if they have a 360 tour of their place, a lot of times it'll show up like this one in the videos area here, or all the way over on the right, there's street view and 360. If you click on that, sometimes you'll find an interior view of their restaurant, like a almost like a 360 tour. Tour. But you'll notice a lot of places do not have this available on their Google Maps listing. Then all you need to do is take your phone and go into that establishment. And if you use the app that I showed you, it allows you to take a 360 photo of that establishment and then it converts it into a virtual tour just like I'm showing right here where you can actually scroll around the inside of the place without actually visiting it. Now you might say that's gonna be kind of weird. Aren't they gonna notice? These days people take photos of the insides of places all the time. I doubt anyone would even notice and we've done this all quite a few times and no one has ever noticed us doing it. Then what you do is you go to the maps listing of the place. You click right here, add photos and videos and you upload that three 60 virtual tour that you just made with the Foxboy app and it will automatically display on their Google Maps listing as a 360 photo tour. Now here's the trick. People who are searching Google love these things 
and you will notice your 360 tour gaining views very, very quickly. So if you wait a week or so, you'll see that your 360 tour that you made is gonna get 500 views, 800 views, 1,000 views. Then you're gonna send the business owner an email and say, I've completed a complimentary 360 video tour of your establishment, and I put it on Google Maps. It's already received 500 views, or however many views it's got. If you'd like, I can license this to you for $600, or if you don't want it on there no problem we can remove it right away from your Google Maps list I actually have that exact email template that you can actually copy and paste I gave you kind of a quick overview of it but we have a whole email template that you can use for this again if you click on the link in the description of this video and enter your email address I'm gonna send you a class on making money with Google Maps all you have to do is reply to that email and say hey could I get the 360 tour email template and we will shoot that out to you right away. My own students are making $600 a pop just creating these virtual tours for business owners. You can do it too by following the instructions that I just gave you. Okay, let's go to the fifth way to make money with Google search. And for this one, you have to do a very specific search in Google that I'm gonna show you in just a second. But first I wanna show you, here's some screenshots of deposits from one of my students that got this money after only doing this technique for a few weeks. And the nice thing about this one is this is also residual income or monthly income, not just a one-time fee. What you wanna do a search for is restaurants and then type in your town. And then what you wanna do is you want to scroll down and look for restaurants that have a large number of customers every day so you don't want like a slow restaurant where people sit down for two hours to eat their meal you want to search for restaurants that have a high turnover so like fast food type restaurants not fast food chains like McDonald's restaurants that are owned by an individual but still have a ton of customers coming through on a regular basis and you can get an idea of how quickly their customers revolve through there by just clicking on their Google Maps listing like I'm showing right here and then it tells you how long they spend so this one people typically spend 15 minutes to 1.5 hours you want restaurants where generally people are spending around 15 minutes then you actually go into the restaurant and you order some food when you give them your credit card or your debit card to pay and they swipe it you ask them a very simple question what kind of credit card system is this that you have then you ask them a follow-up question how is it working out for you. How they answer that question is gonna determine whether or not you make money that day on this business owner or not. Because if they tell you that they don't like the machine or they start complaining about the service or the fees or the support for the credit card machine, that is your opportunity to sell them an alternative system. What you might not know is it's very easy to sign up to become a reseller for companies that sell these little machines. And if you can get that business owner to replace their machine with one that you're a reseller for, you actually get paid every time a customer swipes that machine. You get paid a small percentage of each sale which is why I encourage you to look for businesses where they have a high number of transactions every single day because you get paid for every transaction that goes through that machine you can actually go out and sign up for these four companies heartland.us shift4.com clover.com and toastlab Com. And all of these companies will provide you training and they'll provide you with the machines and they will even provide the setup and the support for the business owner. So you really don't have to know that much about the machine itself. All you are is a middleman connecting the business owner with the credit card machine company. A lot of these companies will even send out their own representatives to train the business owner to set up the machines and everything. And all you have to do is make sure that the connection is made and you can get paid every single swipe of the car. And that's it. Those are the five ways to make money with Google search. Now, every single one of these, I have much longer videos on my channel. So you can just go to my channel, do a search for something like virtual tour, for example, and it'll bring up the full length video that'll train you in a lot more detail on how to do it. But like I said before, by far out of all of these five techniques, the one that has made me and my students the most money is the Google Maps lead generation, which is technique number three of this video. And like I said before, we have a free class on how to do that full setup in the link in the description of this video. My own daughter set up a business just like this when she was only 13 years old. Now she's a young adult and it's been paying her for years on autopilot. I have thousands of students who have learned this exact technique from me that are making great money every single month whether they're working or not. So just click on that link in the description of this video to get my free class on it.